Hello everyone, welcome back to another game video. Today I picked up Your Town. This is um, a new, some, I think these are pretty new, um, game type where it's a graphic novel adventure. So it plays a little bit like a choose your own adventure book. However, it's a graphic novel, so there's going to be different panels or different panel numbers. And depending on what you decide to do, you will go to various panels and resolve whatever happens in those panels. So that's the first part of it. It's a graphic novel, but basically it ha it's like a choose-your-own-adventure. There is a game aspect to it as well. Um, so here's like the rules for it and all that. And they also have this game. So this is the Western-themed one. And in this one, you are building a Western town, and you're also like managing that town. So there is, in the back here, um, a map, and you'll be drawing in very, like, as you build new buildings, you'll be filling out uh, these squares. So, like, a small building might take up one square, while a larger building will take up two squares. Uh, another cool thing is um, you can write in the book if you want to. However, on their website, there, um, under the, there's a download section to where you can download pretty much everything that you would have to write write in you can download copies of that so there's like a ledger where you keep track of you know your funds there's a population chart which keeps track of your town's population and so on you can also get another map so another map that you can actually uh, print out and draw on instead of having to draw in the actual book itself you, but if you want to draw the book you totally can so this is your town it's a western themed one Again, there's like a Sherlock Holmes one. There's like a fantasy themed one. I think each one has a slightly different um, rule set and plays a little bit differently. So in this one, you can take on the various jobs. You're going to try to attract people to your town. So, for example, just go through a quick encounter here. Um, basically, you just enter the town here. These, uh, this is the beginning of the, the game, so there is no options yet. So, you know, your guy approaches the town, uh, heads in, heads into a saloon. You can talk, you talk to the bartender at the saloon here. And the first thing is you're looking for a job. He tells you that all the jobs in the town are pretty much located within the saloon. The town starts off very small. I think there's only like five people in the, that are five people in, in, in the town in total. Um, and then you'll become population as well and more and more people will be attracted to your town. But in the beginning of the game, you have access to, it looks like, these three different jobs. Um, might be kind of hard to see. But, for example, right here, if you go to... I'm not sure if that's going to focus. If you go to page 20, you can work with this guy. If you go to page 167, you can work with this character. Or if you go to page 323, you can work with this character. So, for example, let's say we're going to go to page 323. We approach this character here. Or not page, panel 323. So, each panel is numbered at the top here. So, 323 is the panel we're going for. So, page 323, or panel 323. So, if you choose to do that guy's job, you go to this panel, kind of read what he tells you. What he tells you is, what, you really wish to work, work with me? That's fantastic news. Join me behind the saloon in 294. I've got something to show you. So it'll direct you to panel 294, just like a, like a choose your own adventure. So it's going to go to panel 294. So panel 294 is right here. And in this panel, he says, Here you see this is what I'm so proud of, but I truly need for someone to build a real cemetery. And the cemetery is in blue text. It's going to be hard to read there. But it's in blue text, and it's a cemetery... Um, is a building type that you will be adding to your map, and it takes up a certain number of squares and so on. And it might take a certain number of like resources to build and money and things like that. So he needs you to build a cemetery. He says, one day, if you do something about it, I will be truly grateful. In the meantime, come and help me out. And then it says, head, head to panel 130, 139. So then you go to panel 139. So 139 here says, are you helping or daydreaming? Okay, so you read that panel here, and then it says, after helping helping, helping Norman, Norman the Undertaker, go to panel 100, 118. So, panel 118. And there you go. So it says, uh, he says, thank you, sir. And then it says, um, a little bit of game text here. It says, 
after pocketing the three hundred dollars, so it gives you three hundred dollars, and noting it in your ledger, that's like your little character sheet or your sheet that tells you like basically you, re you record money there and stuff like that. So add the three hundred dollars to your ledger, and you head to the saloon, head back to the saloon on panel two eighty two. So we'll go to page two eighty two, panel two eighty two. Here we go. And you're talking to the bartender now. And bartender says, "So how was your first day's work?" And the guy's like, "You say stressful, but I've." got a feeling I'm going to like this town. As a matter of fact, I'm officially moving here today. So that's the beginning of this particular game. And now it says, you're you're obviously very motivated, and that's a good thing. Go to panel 70. Panel 70, right here. So it says, well done, cowboy. For $150, you just acquired a nice location and a few planks to your um, small house. So, so you get a small house, you add it to the map. I think it takes up like one square, and you're gonna pay $150 for that land, basically, or to build that house. So I imagine you subtract that from your ledger. So your small house, add it to your map. Found at the end of this book. It takes one square. Next, add one population to your ledger since you're now officially a resident. So the game has a starting population, and now you're increasing that by one because you're moving into the town. Now officially a resident of the town, it says add $50 to your monthly income, then return to the saloon in panel 80. If this is your first building and you'd like to learn about how to build more of them, go to 339. So if you go to 339, it'll tell us exactly more about um, how to how we add buildings to our town. So here's like a little, this is just like a little rule section here. But it says require assistance, that's what I'm here for. First off, look at the map. I strongly recommend you download it from... Um, Van, uh, VanRiderGames.com and print it out. That's telling you earlier, you can print out pretty much everything for these games um, from like the um, the ledger to the map and so on. So he recommend they recommend printing it out. Yeah, so basically it gives you a few little bit of information. It says, as you can see, the map is divided into multiple zones. You are currently in in the zone to the right called Town Zone. That is where you'll find, find the saloon, sheriff's office, uh, sheriff's office, and my house. For now, you can build within... Um, that perimeter. Don't worry, however, you haven't have many opportunities to acquire new land as you progress through the adventure. Other than needing enough money in your bank account, the only other requirement for buildings is that each ha is that each has at least one side that touches the street, as you see um, in the example below. So, for example, it's gonna be hard to see here, but this is a this is okay because all these sides touch the street. You cannot have one that's like a building surrounded on all sides by buildings. They have to touch the street level. So do you get all that? Excellent. You can now build your house, which will uh, serve as your office. Draw it on your map and then return to the saloon on panel 80. So back to so basically, we would fill in. Um, let's say we can put it right here. We basically just draw it in, mark that that that's your house, and then go back to panel 80. Panel 80 is right here. And then after you're back to panel 80, you have um, read this panel. It looks like some more parts of some more um, quest options or adventure options will become available to you. And then you basically go through, you build up your town, you go through the adventure. Um, it also says there's a way to do it without doing any of the town management stuff. So on this page, it says, if you haven't started your adventure yet, this is the first time playing. Um, don't, let's see. If you're a young reader or wish to play a shorter and simpler game, you may ignore the events, you have unlimited bullets, and you start your adventure with $500 in your um, bank account. So I guess like you, you can basically just play through the adventure as it's written, or you can play through with the full rules and run the town. So again, this is a uh, graphic novel adventure. They are from uh, Van Ryder Games. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can check them out. Um, again, they highly recommend that you print out the stuff online. They, they're all PDFs. You can print out that will give you whatever you need for your adventure. Like here's the ledger. They have an option to print that out, as well as the uh, building registry, which shows you um, what the building is called. Gonna be, I don't think the camera's going to pick this up, but let's say a small house is one square. It's called a small house. It can hold one resident, costs $150, uh, generates $50 in income, has no bonuses, requirements, and it bring, it's approval of one, which I imagine there's like approval ratings if you're running the town and stuff like that. Um, if you bring in a farm, for example, the small, the small farm takes up one square. 
um, provides one job. So like obviously you can you can have people that work there. Costs one hundred fifty dollars. It brings in fifty dollars. It creates um, plus five food. Doesn't have any requirements, and it has approval of one. But as you get further up, you're going to get more and more buildings that do different things. So, for example, here's a theater. A theater costs um, basically four squares, so it's, it's a two-by-two. Two. Uh, theater, it provides two jobs. It costs $400. Um, monthly income, it gives you 100 It gives you um, and it gives you two esteemed residents. Esteemed residents are, like, important people in your town, that kind of thing. Um, has no requirements, and has an approval of three. So there's going to be various buildings. You have your ledger and then your map, and those are all printable up on their website. Um, and again, this is just the Western-themed one. There's, like, fantasy one. There's, like, one for fantasy. There's one that's based on Sherlock Holmes and a few others. But I just picked that up today. Going to be playing through it a little bit. A little bit. Going to print some of the stuff out so I can just have, uh, I think, the mark on. But that's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.